Cones, welcome back to another stylicious and delicious cake and candy episode. In today's tutorial, we are going to do what I thought is kind of a cute idea, an igloo cake pop. I always wanted to do an igloo out of real snow, but since we don't have much snow here in Germany, where I live, I have to stick to cake. Let's do it. As usual, I start this tutorial with an already crumbled and mixed cake pop dough. Click in the info box at the top right corner to learn more about it. Then we do the form or the shape of the um, igloo cake pop, which means uh, we take approximately 30 grams of dough and then we shape it to a little bit of a cone shape. So some rounded um, top and some wider bottom and make sure it is very nicely and even from, from the surface that the coating looks pretty nicely and if you feel like the cake pop is a little bit too big because for me it was a little bit too big I took a knife and i cut off a little bit of dough to make it have the perfect size next we shape the entrance or the little door of the igloo cake pop and therefore i used a little bit of the dough and rolled out a small sausage um yes and then as you can see, I just put it right there at the very front of the cake pop um, and make sure that it looks nice. To make sure that the door sticks to the igloo, I used a little bit of white candy melts or candy coating with some toothpick. And then I glued, so to speak, the door to the cake pop. We insert the cake pop stick with a little bit of coating inside of the cake pop. You push halfway through and make sure that all the excess is just like smeared away. Of course, we have to dip the igloo cake pop. I used uh, some turquoise candy coating and I created that color by using mostly white candy melts or candy coating with some uh, turquoise bright blue candy melts um, yeah and then I dipped my cake pop and uh, tapped on my glass and to make sure that all the excess is falling off and also make sure that you clean up the stick And now we're going to build the bricks of the igloo. Um, I used a little bit of white fondant, which is basically not true white. Uh, you find the color on all the materials as usual in the description box below. And then I rolled out this fondant to a very piece, a thin layer. And then I start cutting out um, different circle sizes. And as you can see here, I started with the uh, smallest one and then I slightly got bigger and um, another circle and if you feel like it's not big enough um, because it should go all around the cake pop um, you can use your rolling pin and adjust that and you repeat that step several times here again another circle cookie cutter and um, yeah cut out some more circles Now we're going to glue or apply the fondant um, to the cake pop. I start with the center part first on the very top of the cake pop. Uh, then I use the knife and cut one side of the, uh, of the circle. And to make sure it gets easily uh, laid around the cake pop. And I use some water to make it glue even better. And what I now did, I used my knife and I cut out random pieces um, to give uh, the white circles a little bit of a brick structure, which is very, very typical for an igloo. And then I um, made sure that it looked kind of nicely. And by the way, if you do not want to miss out on my weekly episodes, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. And of course, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest as well. And 
I repeated that step with all of my circles and in total I had uh, one centerpiece and three um, separate circles that I divided and then laid out in uh, bricks. Final part, we adding some snow structure to the cake pop. I used some white candy coating and put it in a paper piping bag and I added some on the very top and at the very bottom and of course of the entrance of the cake pop. And if you like to, you can add some decorative, decorative glitters and sprinkles later on. And that's it. Ta-da! And here we have it, an arctic house aka igloo in turquoise and white with shapes and form that complements the rest of the winter set tutorial quite well. So Candy Cones, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like or leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next videos and always remember, stay sweet and stay true. Bye!